CT head scans can be complicated to interpret, so we're only going to focus on uh, the main conditions that are most likely to come up in exams uh, and in clinical practice. Uh, so first of all, let's look at what the colours on a CT head scan mean. So in general, black is air. Various shades of dark grey are CSF and brain parenchyma. On the white or hyperdense end of the spectrum is bone and acute bleeds. Fresh blood appears white initially because it contains a high concentration of red cells, uh, but over time the cellular components of the blood will break down and it will appear hypodense or, or darker in colour. Another quite simple uh, tip for interpreting CT heads is just to look for symmetry. So on the whole, uh, it should be symmetrical the entire way through uh, the CT scan as you scroll through the images and any asymmetry should be looked into further. Intracranial bleeds are a very common acute indication for a CT head scan. Extradural hemorrhages are encased between the dura and the inner surface of the bones of the skull, so it has a convex appearance. Furthermore, as they are usually quite acute, the blood will appear more hyperdense. Subdural hemorrhages, on the other hand, have a concave appearance. Furthermore, there are venous bleeds that tend to present more insidiously, so the blood may appear hypodense. In the example shown on screen, uh, this may be an acute on chronic subdural hemorrhage, as you can see that the blood at the bottom is more hyperdense and hence looks fresher than the rest of the blood. If a CT head scan is performed within six hours of the onset of a thunderclap headache in a patient with a subarachnoid hemorrhage, it is highly sensitive. It's characterized by the appearance of hyperdense material in the subarachnoid space and is usually most apparent around the circle of Willis. Here you can see the hyperdense fresh blood in the subarachnoid space compared to the normal and enhanced CT scan on the right. In an intracerebral hemorrhage, you can see an area of extravasated hyperdense blood within the brain parenchyma itself. The appearance of a stroke on a CT head scan varies considerably depending on the time since the onset of a stroke. First of all, the CT head scans are initially done in the acute setting to exclude an intracranial bleed in patients presenting with a suspected stroke. An early sign that may be noted in patients with an ischemic stroke is loss of grey-white differentiation. After a few days, the infarcted area will liquefy and appear hypodense.